In the early 20th century, the Homestead Act encouraged thousands of farmers to settle in the Great Plains. A few years of steady rainfall hid the truth that the drought-prone plains were unsuitable for growing crops. Unscrupulous promoters promised settlers that the rain would follow their plows. During the Great Plow Up, more than five million acres of grassland were turned over to grow wheat. Running tractors day and night, farmers unwittingly brought on one of the worst man-made environmental disasters in American history. I shall never forget the fields of wheat, so blasted by heat that they cannot be harvested. I shall never forget field after field of corn, stunted, earless, stripped of leaves. For what the sun left, the grasshoppers took. The Great Depression knocked booming wheat prices from $2 to just 40 cents a bushel and then a brutal eight-year drought struck. Black blizzards blew millions of tons of topsoil across the open plains. These dust storms suffocated livestock, destroyed crops, and sickened children. Property values dropped dramatically, and farmers fell deep into debt. But what they really needed was an inner thing that, that nobody could give them. They needed a a, uh, a trust again in something which they had lost. Americans elected Franklin Delano Roosevelt president because they trusted him to save them. FDR was passionate about forestry and soil erosion and promised to help the farmers survive the Dust Bowl. No cracked earth, no blistering sun, no burning wind, no grasshoppers are a permanent match for the indomitable American farmers and stockmen and their wives and children who have carried on through desperate days and inspire us with their self-reliance, their tenacity, and their courage. FDR launched the Great Plains Shelter Belt, which put the Civilian Conservation Corps boys to work planting 220 million trees along the borders of farms and pastures. By 1940, those trees had grown into 18,000 miles of windbreaks on 33,000 farms from Texas to Canada. At the same time, FDR created the Soil Conservation Service, which taught farmers better soil practices and offered incentives to farmers who used these new techniques on their land. 40,000 farmers signed up. The amount of dangerously eroded land was reduced by more than half. Roosevelt's administration bought back nearly four million acres of farmland and restored it to natural grasslands. We are going to conserve soil, conserve water, and conserve life. We are going to have a farm policy that will serve the national welfare. That is our hope for the future. Today, this land, once stripped bare by dust storms, is some of the most productive farmland in the world.